January 12th. Alright, I gotta share this. I had to redo this video. Um, I think it's very important that everybody knows right now because there's a lot of deception going on out there where people are using other names and they're trying to remove the name of Jesus Christ. When they're coming on to this channel even, calling out all these different Hebrew names, when we all know them as Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, okay? Now, why are they using these other names? Because they want to further deceive you. I don't know if you guys see that orb that just moved into me. They want to further deceive you, okay? Now, I want to read this for you. Now, the reason why this is in the Bible is because the Lord wanted you to know this. He wanted you to be warned about this right now. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it, for thou hast little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the Syagnag of Satan, which say they are Jews, but are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee. See, if you notice where it says, because, uh, and, and that we have not denied his name, over 986 times Jesus Christ's name is in this Bible, okay? And I refuse to call them all those different names that these Jews that say they're Jews, but are not here. And they've got many books out there written, okay? I'm here to warn you. Stick with Jesus Christ. You won't go wrong. Okay? All those other people are using those different names and they're following these Jewish people here in America with their new Jewish Hebrew Bible or whatever, calling them all these different names. If you don't think that they're not trying to destroy the name of Jesus Christ, why do you think I'm living in my truck? I had people tell me if I spoke less about Jesus Christ, they'd turn my life around. Build my business up, man. I had three vehicles like this. I was doing fine until they asked me that. As soon as they asked me that, I refused to do it. Let me tell you, if you look at Job, even in Job, the devil uh, was allowed to do certain things with Job and literally destroyed his life, but he wasn't able to kill him. And that's what he's basically done to me. And the Lord knew that I would not turn my back on him. These are the end times, man. My rewards are going to be in heaven. All right? I know that, you know, but am I seeking rewards? You know what? I don't even think about that. What do I think about? I think about you being deceived. Why? Because the word of God says it right here. Okay. Listen to this. Um, for I know that you have little strength and has kept my word and has not denied my name. All right, now saying that we did not deny his name. Then right down here it goes, I will make them come and worship before thy feet. Um, why? Which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold. Don't be deceived, man, because they're out there right now trying to get you to call Jesus all these different names. They're saying, well, that does mean Jesus, but it's in the Hebrew. Don't be deceived. Stick with Jesus Christ. You won't go wrong. We're not Hebrew, are we? Okay? If people want to make that choice, that's their choice. But don't come on this channel and try to get people doing it because I'm not going to have it. I'm not going to have it. We got the King James Bible here. I call on the name of Jesus Christ. And if you get spiritually or demonically attacked, I would highly recommend that you call on the name of Jesus Christ. Don't be deceived. Because it says clearly right here, I will also keep, because thou hast kept... My word on my, of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon the world to try them that dwell on the earth. You know, there's going to be a lot of people going through a lot of stuff here. Make no doubt about it. And I'm here to make sure you're not deceived. Okay, stick with Jesus Christ. I promise you, you'll be glad you did. I am, and I'm living in my truck, and I'm glad I stayed with my Lord Jesus Christ. Now, here's St. Luke, chapter 21, 34 through 36. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts become overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness, and cares of this life, 
so that this day come upon you unaware. That's why I just got to talk about that waitress in there. For as a snare shall it come on all of them that dwell on the face of this whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always as you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. You know? Now, here we are in St. John chapter 3, verse uh, 17 and 18. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Okay? He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. See how they're getting you to call him different names? Stay with Jesus Christ. He is the Son of God. You won't go wrong. I promise you, you won't go wrong. There's a reason why I've got that angel blowing that trumpet over my head. I'm here to warn you. Why do you think they came against me and turned my whole life upside down here? I hope you guys can believe that, you know, because I didn't walk away from this uh, for the rewards in heaven. That's That just comes with it. I did this because I really, truly wanted to uh, do what the Lord wanted me to do. You know, my what I want to do is the Lord's will. Why do I want to do the Lord's will? It's because I know in the end, I will truly be happy. Not only that, but everybody else will be as happy as me. Not any more, not any less. I'm not really seeking any rewards. I'm just seeking to do a good job. Doing like my business was. When I had my business, I always did good work. I wouldn't compete with people. I did the right thing. There's a guy out there that said he was a pastor in a church. He didn't seem to really too much care about what I had to say. All right. I showed him the picture of everything, and he couldn't see it. Like I said. All right. St. Luke, chapter 19, verse 10. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Okay? See, there's a lot of people right now lost and deceived, even in the churches. Like this guy said he's a pastor in a church. Um... A lot of people preach of prosperity. Once I told him that, he didn't want to hear it. See, these people, are, they're li living large on this money they're making. You know? People say, I'm living large on the money I'm making. <laughs> I don't make as much because I don't tickle ears. And I'm still living in my truck. Which I will be, too, when the Lord comes for me. I'm lucky if I can get into a campground and stay for a week or two. Okay, set your affections. Now, this is uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. Well, I'm going to start it off in the beginning. Uh, chapter 3. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affections on the things above, not on the things of this earth. See, they, they teach you prosperity. On the things of this earth. Just the opposite of what God's all about. You know. He says he'll provide us with our needs and all that stuff. But man this has gone beyond that. It's gone way beyond it. For you are dead. And your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ who is your life. Shall appear. Then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Okay. Read that whole chapter man. It's an excellent chapter. Um. But know this. I want you guys to hear something here. Then I'm going to sign off. By the blood of Christ. Oh, so are you weary and troubled.
and free Turn your eyes upon Jesus Look full in His wonderful face And the things of earth will grow strangely dim In the light of His glory